Hello, my name is Brian McGee. I'm the owner of Source One Supply, and we've been granted the opportunity to show how we can do a better job of cleaning these buses, offering a product that will do an exceptional job for that. Let's address the problem. These school buses are a hotbed for germs, bacteria, viruses, molds. Buses are just dirty all the time. They're out on the road, a lot of kids, a lot of people coming in and off. You've got touch points all over the place and we're going to clean those and eliminate those germs. What we're going to do today is clean two buses. We're going to clean them identically in the same areas. We're going to clean them with our 3M HB Quat Disinfectant Cleaner. We have new technology. Penetrex is a final bacteria static product that keeps germs from adhering to virtually any surface. We're going to clean two buses identically, but one bus is going to get a treatment of Penetrex, which we're going to apply using an electrostatic sprayer. This electrostatic sprayer will allow the Penetrex product to totally encapsulate any surface that we're applying it to, ensuring that we've got total coverage. The results will be proven by using an ATP monitor. We are going to clean two buses identically. We're going to clean these handrails, we're going to clean the backs of these seats, and we're going to clean the driver's area, the steering wheel, and some other touch points up here. And with those areas, when we're done, we will swab to see what the germ soil load is on those. Using a swab, I will get an ATP reading for the germ load. I will now get a reading of how much soil load is on this left handrail. With my TP monitor. It's counting down from 15 and it will give us our reading of our soil load. This, this rail has 2,242 relative light units. Let me put that in perspective. Anything over 200 is considered dirty or germ filled. The seat backs, you can see the difference in comparison. There's 960 compared to 2200 on the rail. But just up front, just on these two, three touch points, very small touch points, we've got over 3000 RLUs, which is a lot of germs. Steering wheel is very dirty as well. So what we've been showing is the presence of organic matter with this unit. So it's not telling us what that organic matter is. Rather it be orange juice, milk, saliva, or something much more deadly like MRSA. It simply is organic and this is showing that in relative light units. I'm going to apply our 3M cleaner to the surface and allow its proper dwell time. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to re-swap. Okay, let's get a reading of the, uh, the clean product. We are at 77. That's pretty good. 77 is pretty good. After a thorough cleaning, we have the bus seat at a level of 16 relative light units. That is very clean. That's a great place to start. Look at that. Okay, so we went from 2100 down to 127, which is telling us the better we clean, the lower the numbers can be. And the lower the numbers means a more germ-free surface. As you can probably tell, we're at bus number two. Bus number two, we're going to simply go in and do a thorough job of cleaning and we will then take an ATP reading. 
Okay, I'm going to now swab the areas which we just disinfected. After a proper cleaning, the handrail is now at 25. That is a great number to start with. Okay, after proper cleaning of the seat backs, we have delivered a number 18 as our relative light unit. The steering wheel has a reading of 69, and that is a great number to start with. Now, how can we keep those numbers low? So, how are we going to keep those numbers low? We are going to treat this bus with the electrostatic sprayer with our Penetrex product inside of it. What this sprayer does is it takes a small amount of product and makes a 40 micron atom size spray out of the end of this. And what happens is it is positively charged and it likes to seek out negatively charged product, which is virtually everything on earth. So it'll totally encapsulate whatever it is that I'm spraying. Okay, in seven days we're going to come back and do another test, check our soil loads. Okay, so we have cleaned and disinfected two buses. We cleaned identical touch points in each of the buses and cleaned them. One of these buses has been treated with Penetrex, so I'll see you in seven days. Hi, this is Brian again. I'm back a week later. We're with the same two buses that we cleaned and disinfected last week. One bus did get the benefit of having Penetrex applied to certain surfaces. And today we're going to swab and see how those surfaces turned out. Okay. This is bus 1194. This was the bus that got the benefit of having Penetrex applied to certain surfaces on it. And we're going to swab those surfaces. Now the one thing we know after five days, there's been a lot of kids climbing around on this bus. A lot of dirt has come into the bus, so there is going to be a certain soil load that's going to be a present. Now hopefully what we see is the soil load today using the Penetrex, the soil load left behind is going to be considerably lower than it is on bus 1195. So we're going to swab and find out. One hundred and twenty three. Twenty two forty two represented the amount of soil load, organic matter, that was on the surface of a handrail. After a week, or after five business days, we are currently at one hundred and twenty three relative light units. So after five business days, we've cut that number down to almost a third from where we started with the dirty soil load. And remember, these surfaces, this is a vinyl surface with a lot of crevices and Places like that where dirt can harbor very, very easily down in there, it's very difficult to clean. It is going to show a higher level at times than a surface such as a stainless steel rail because you're not going to be able to clean quite as good. So that really adds to the fact that Penetrex is doing its job. It's getting down inside of the, the surfaces and keeping the surface protected. Now, I don't know about you, but I am extremely impressed by that. And the driver has been in here every day delivering children back and forth and is still the surface is at 145. That's clean. Okay, we saw what Penetrex did for bus number 1194. We're now at bus 1195, which did not receive the benefit of having Penetrex applied to any of the surfaces. Let's see what those numbers come out to be. Okay. We're going to swab because we know it's dirty.
841. We had these seat backs cleaned to a level of 18. We are now at 1,068. Five days ago, we were at 69, 69 relative light units. Today, we are at 1,977. That's only in five working days. How high can this number go? We don't know. But one thing we're proving is that to reduce soil loads on the surfaces, reduces the potential for getting sick. So we accomplished our goal with these two buses. We reduced the pathogen load in these tremendously. We can show you how you could have continued 30-day protection against dangerous environmental pathogens with only one application with Penetrex. Get the same results that we have here. All you have to do is call Source One Supply.